Google Anti-Gravity, plus Claude Code, the insane AI coding workflow. Everyone's missing. You're wasting hours writing code line by line. Meanwhile, there's a workflow that builds entire apps while you watch. Most people are using one AI coding tool and burning through tokens, but there's a better way. Combine two tools and you get a full development team. I'm about to show you exactly how. Hey, it's Hada, and today I'm breaking down something that most people are completely sleeping on. Google just released this new IDE called Anti-Gravity, and when you pair it with Claude Code from Anthropic, you basically get an entire dev team working for you. One handles the planning, the other writes the code, and you just direct everything like a project manager. Here's what makes this crazy. Anti-Gravity came out November 18th, 2025. That's only about six weeks ago. And people are already discovering workflows that completely change how you build software. But most developers are still using these tools separately. They're missing the whole point. Let me explain what each tool does. Then I'll show you the exact workflow. Google Anti-Gravity is an agent-first IDE. Instead of just suggesting code, it deploys AI agents that work independently across your editor terminal and browser. You get two views. The editor view looks like VS Code and the agent manager, which is mission control for your AI agents. You can spawn multiple agents, give each one a different task. They work simultaneously. One builds your front end, another sets up your back end, a third writes tests. You monitor everything from one dashboard. The agents create artifacts, Task lists, implementation plans, screenshots, browser recordings. You can see exactly what they did. Best part? Anti-gravity is free right now in public preview. Generous rate limits on Gemini 3 Pro. Also supports Claude Sony 4.5 and GPT models. Works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, Claude Code. This lives in your terminal. Command line tool for developers who prefer terminal over IDEs. Launched February 2025. Got major upgrades in September with Claude Sane 4.5. Key features are checkpoints that auto-save your progress. Hit escape twice and you're back to the previous version. No git commands. Subagents handle specific subtasks in parallel. Hooks auto-trigger actions like running tests after code changes. Background tasks keep dev servers running without blocking other work. Claude Code connects to MCP servers, that's Model Context Protocol, gives Claude access to browser automation, APIs, databases, fully customizable. The workflow has three parts, planning, building, testing. Step one, use Gemini 3 Pro in anti-gravity to plan your project. Give it a high level task like build an authentication system with email and social login. Set it to planning mode. The agent generates a complete plan before writing code creates a task list, breaks everything into steps, lists files and components needed, shows it all in an artifact. You review it, leave feedback if needed, approve when ready. Step two, take that plan and give it to Claude Code. Copy the task list, paste it in your terminal, tell Claude to implement it. Claude Sané, 4.5 scores, 74.5% on SWE Bench Verified. 0% error rate on Anthropic's code editing benchmark. It takes your plan and executes it writes clean code, creates files, works through the task list systematically. Claude is token efficient, doesn't waste tokens regenerating working code, makes focused changes, gets things right in one or two iterations, about 30% fewer reworks than other tools. Step three, switch back to anti-gravity for testing. Spawn an agent, tell it to test your app. The agent launches Chrome, navigates your app, clicks buttons, fills forms, tests user flows, records everything, finds bugs, takes screenshots, documents issues, suggests fixes. When I first started using these tools, I was overwhelmed. That's when I found this community called AI Profit Boardroom. 1,800 members all focused on learning AI together and sharing what actually works. It taught me which workflows save time versus which ones waste it. The community shares real use cases and practical implementations. If you're serious about using AI to improve your work and skills, check it out. Link in description. Here's why this works. Each tool handles what it does best. Gemini 3 Pro excels at planning and architecture. Claude Sonnet 4.5 is unmatched at writing code efficiently. Anti-gravity's browser agents are perfect for validation and testing. You basically have a planning team, dev team, and QA team. You're the project lead directing everything. Five tips to optimize this workflow. One, 
Start with a single, high-level task. Don't over-explain. Let the agents figure out details. Two, force a task list in anti-gravity. Tell it to create files, list components, make it responsive. Three, hand clawed the exact plan anti-gravity produced. Keep both tools aligned. Four, use anti-gravity to test links, HTML validity, responsive breakpoints automatically. Five, never regenerate working code. Huge token drain, only modify what needs changing. The bigger picture. Development is shifting from writing code line by line to orchestrating AI agents. You're becoming a director. Define what to build. Review output. Make strategic decisions. But you're not typing every function. You still need to understand code. Review AI output. Catch mistakes. But you operate at a higher level. Like how calculators didn't eliminate math skills. They let you tackle more complex problems. Developers who thrive learn to orchestrate AI effectively, know which tool for which task, write good prompts, review AI code quickly, spot issues at a glance. Google is integrating Gemini 3 across their entire ecosystem. Gemini app, search, Google Cloud, AI Studio. This gives anti-gravity distribution advantages. Anthropic is moving fast too. Just added Claude code on the web. You can delegate tasks from your browser without opening your terminal. More IDE integrations coming. Better memory between sessions. Both companies are investing heavily. These tools only get better from here. Token efficiency matters. Agentic workflows burn through tokens fast when reading thousands of lines of code and iterating. The hybrid workflow helps. Anti-gravity has generous free limits on Gemini 3 Pro. Claude code is paid but efficient. Splitting tasks between them extends how much you can build before hitting limits. Some developers spend $200 a month on AI coding during heavy development. This workflow cuts that cost significantly. Getting started. Go to antigravity.google slash download. Install it on your machine. Works on Mac, Windows, Linux. Sign in with your Google account. Select Gemini 3 Pro. Start with agent-assisted development mode keeps you in control while letting AI handle safe automations. For Claude code, go to claude.ai. Need a Pro or Mac subscription. Use it in your terminal or install the VS Code extension in beta. Start small. Build a to-do app or calculator. Use anti-gravity to plan. Claude code to build. Anti-gravity to test. See how it feels. Adjust based on what works. If you're looking to dive deeper into AI tools and actually implement them in your work, I recommend AI Profit Boardroom. Over 1,800 people learning how to use AI effectively. Everyone shares real experiences, what's working, what's not, which tools are worth your time, which ones to skip, no hype, just solid information and practical guidance from people doing the work. It's helped me stay on top of updates and figure out how to actually apply them. Link in description if you want to check it out. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, Join the AI Success Lab. Links in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are building amazing things with AI. Here's the bottom line. Most people use AI coding tools wrong, sticking to one tool, vague prompts, not leveraging each platform's strengths. The anti-gravity plus Claude code workflow solves that. Planning, building, testing, all handled by specialized agents save hours, produce higher quality code, learn a workflow that gets more powerful as these tools improve. This is the future, not replacing developers, giving them superpowers. The question is whether you adapt or get left behind writing everything by hand. Start experimenting today. Try the workflow on a real project. Let me know in the comments what you build. If you found this valuable, hit that like button. Subscribe for more AI workflows. I'll see you in the next video.